Wimberley Info was created to bring you the inside scoop on everything Wimberley. Not just the mainstream tourist stuff either, but actual local insights. You will hear from ourselves, Trey and Jamila, the many local business owners, their employees, and sometimes even the poor sap that we sat down next to at lunch and so much more. Buck Wynn, he's, he's 20th century. He died in 1970s. He was an artist. Wimberley is sort of known as an artist community. And he was one of the uh, first artists that kind of came to this area. He was born and raised up a little town called Salina or Salina. I'm not sure how you said it. It's north of Dallas. It's in Texas. Cotton farm. And in the 30s, he, he studied... Uh, art and actually went to Europe and Paris and down into even North Africa and studied some. And he was involved in several of the buildings in, in uh, uh, 1936 Texas Centennial, like those markers we showed on Winters mm -hmm. where they got those. They also had a big World's Fair in, in Dallas uh, where the Cotton Bowl is now. They call that the Fair Park. And he, they did some beautiful old buildings and art in there. And he was involved with that group that did several of those. So he, at least in our mind, we think that he was the, one of the main guys that artists that kind of probably attracted other artists. So he moved here in the late 1830s, I mean, I'm sorry, 1930s, uh, 1940, right in there. And he bought a ranch on the south side of town and uh, when it was Pierce Ranch is what he bought, and now it's Wynn Ranch. And he uh, is just, you know, very interesting guy. You can see this part of this mural. One of the things he did in the early 50s, he, uh, there was a company, a, a brewery in San Antonio called Pearl, Pearl Beer, Pearl Brewery. Had a big facility, and they had a, a big hospitality suite in there. And they commissioned him to do this big mural mm. that it, it was 280 feet, the total length of it. it went all the way around that, uh, that big room. Yeah. And uh, the brewery later sold, and so the, the new owners didn't want that. So they just took it down and cut it into various pieces. The, mm. uh, the name of the mural, it was titled The History of Ranching. Yeah. So it was talking all about the how history so it has all these western pictures in it uh, you can see that one there it's at the community center over here see it has a lot more character characters in it so that one's there there's two or three of the pieces that are in the uh, community center but uh, they, they were almost lost when they took these down they almost threw them away wow. and one guy said well we ought to hold on to these so they fold cut them in pieces and rolled them up and put them in, a, in some barn out there that weren't protected. And so one of the people in our group in Wick got on the trail of it and found a guy that knew where they were. And they, I believe they just gave them to, the, to Wick. And so several of them have been restored at this point. A lot of the ones like, like this one, see, doesn't have many characters in it. So it's probably never going to be restored. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but there's a couple of them uh, in the community center there's uh, two or three in uh, San Marcos at the government building. When you go in that new government building on either side, there's a, uh, uh, th I think it's three of the panels beautifully restored at Texas State University when you go in that ALCAC library and look where they check out books and all. It's up on the, above that. And they're beautiful pieces that had a lot more characters in it than uh, than this one does. So was this kind of, was he who kind of inspired like the Wimberley boots? Um, I'm sure he had some impact to that. It wasn't direct. That yeah. came along later. But, you know, that was Wavaca, the Wimberley Valley Arts and Cultural Alliance that did that where the businesses purchased the boot and then they hire local artists to paint them. And yeah. usually it's to the theme of the... Uh, uh, of what that business is. Mm. So you can see our boot is over across outside. You can see it and it has Pleasant Wimberley on it and it has the history. There's a chiropractor up the road up there that uh, his has a skeleton on it, you mm. know. And so he's, uh, there's a brewery over toward between here and San Marcos, uh, Middleton's, and uh, it's kind of got a beer theme, got a little head on the top of the boot and all. And 
So uh, one side of it has uh, the Wimberley water wheel and the other side, San Marcos is kind of known for the uh, um, uh, mermaids, for the, has a mermaid on the yeah. other side of it. So my wife's cousin, Kim, she painted that one. So it's a pretty cool one too. There's a lot of, a lot of great ones There's around. There's a lot of really cool ones. So around. I would say he didn't directly, obviously, impact that. But because there are artists here, he had an impact on that happening, mm -hmm. I think. There's like 50 of them. I think they're going over 50 now. But uh, yeah. at, the, at the Vista Center, you can get a... Um, a map or something. A, a map of all of them, and you can go see them all if you want Scavenger to. Hunt. Scavenger hunt. <laughs> exactly, exactly right. <laughs>